Hey, what's up? This is Hyun Suk Yoon, and in this tutorial, we're gonna start talking about the core of our paper, SCIR models. So, SCIR model is one of the most well known and widely used compartmental model in epidemiology. Um, the population is stratified into four subcategories or state variables, and the first category is susceptible. Um, these are individuals in the populations that are not yet exposed to the disease and they can catch it if come in effective contact with infected individuals. Um, the second category is exposed. These are individuals that have caught the disease but are not yet infective, meaning they can't transfer the disease to others. And the third category is the infected. And these are the individuals who are ill and actually can give the disease to susceptibles when come in effective contact. Also, individuals in this stage can die from the disease through serious symptoms. And the last and final stage is the vaccinated stage or the resistant stage. Um, individuals in this stage have gone through the infective stage and immune and therefore cannot catch the disease. However, these individuals can move back to susceptible stage as the disease causing agents can mutate and become able to infect them again. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to start with the SCIR model in a continuous time frame for its simplicity. And in continuous time frame, the model is described in a set of differential equations. So I posted the equations from the paper on the corner for you to reference it. So check it out. And so now let's look at the numerous model boulder. All right. Um, so this is how the model looks like in the numerous. We have a total of six stocks and six flows. Um, N is a total population. S, E, I, V are each subcategories, and alpha D represent the number of individuals that are dead um, through infection. So each flow has these different equations. So copy them down in your model. So these are the different equations from the paper. And the pink terms represent the parameters in the equations. So check out the values I put in. Um, for these parameters to get the similar result as I do when I run this model. So this is 1000, 0 0 0.01, 0 0.3, 0.05. All right. Um, okay, and the graph is connected to the infected state and the results, the table results are connected with all the states to check out how the values change for each state over time. All right, let's look at the time setting. Here, the method is set to run get cut of four for solving differential equations. And the ending time is 350 with um, each time step being 0.1. And now we're gonna click launch. And then here we can run the model and give it a simulation. And it starts to draw the graph and then make the table. And you can check this out and analyze the simulation. All right, so that's pretty much it. So in this tutorial, we learned about what the basics of SCIR model are composed of and how to make a continuous SCIR in the numerous model builder. And now that's done, in the next tutorial, we're going to see how infected population changes according to different beta values using a batch run. So tune in, until next time.